So Benny is looking to move updates from Config Manager to Intune. Uh, do we have any tips? Is it only GPO settings that the uh, that he needs to remove, or is there anything in Config Manager as well uh, apart from moving the workload? Okay, um, this one is this one is yours. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a couple of resources that we normally share around this topic. GPO, spot on. Make sure that with your GPOs, you're setting things that are, um, uh, you know, if you had GPOs that were disabling Windows updates or changing Windows updates, go ahead and set those back to not configured. That's one of the primary things. Um, I also put together a blog post a while back um, that helps you. Um, so when you make this change, for most devices, in my experience, I would say the change goes fairly smoothly, as long as you are making those GPO changes and, and, and that sort of thing. But you will almost certainly have some devices that don't like that changeover. Uh, they don't want to simply don't want to get rid of their old settings that they have um, in their registry. So I've got a blog post here. Uh, that I wrote up a little while back um, to help audit using CM Pivot um, the registry keys that are likely to be affected by this, as well as a quick script just to fix those registry keys if they're not being set back properly. Um, there is also a fantastic blog post um, by Ben Whitmore over on Patch My PC's blog on things to pay attention to. So this is specifically related to co-management and scan source. Um, this is a very deep dive into the process. Um, and I highly recommend reading through this if you are going to be going through that process of changing your Windows updates over to Intune. Uh, this is really fantastic stuff here. Um, so Ben really points out a few of the gotchas, things to look out for. Um, but I would say, Benny, you're spot on. Make sure you review those GPO settings first um, and take a look at these blog posts. They should be able to help you get you help to get you on your way. <laughs> 